started collecting lanterns about 1997. Uh, that's when I got my first one at a, at a farm sale here, not too far from Rising Sun. And then I got two more down in, uh, from the Kramer's auction down in Elk Neck, and then I just study grew after that. And then a friend, a relative of mine, gave me a book on uh, Deets lanterns, all the different models they had in the 1920s. So that has been my goal to try to find different models. These five right here all dealt with railroad. This one here would have went, went in the caboose of the train. This is the one the, the conductor used to signal the engineer to move back up or what have you. That's one the policeman carried. And it has on the back of where it clips on his belt. And I often think about that, you know, because these things put out heat. But I reckon back then they wore a lot, you know, when you need light most back then was at night and during the winter when you had the most, most darkness. So you would have been able to stand that much heat that close this to. This one's called Night Watchman's Lantern. Now this one here is a scout, scout lantern or skater's lantern. Now what I tell everybody with that, probably why that's a small ice skate, skater's lantern. When you took your sweetheart out to go ice skating late at night, you didn't want a lot of light. So, but yet she didn't want to go out there in the dark with you. So you had the little lanterns, you had enough light to give her security, and not everybody and his brother knew what was going this on. One was a coal miner's lamp, or in this area, when I was young, they used them in the mushroom houses. They, both of them clipped on your hat. And that's what they use for light when you pick mushrooms in this area, and besides so coal mine. Here is a military one from World War I that the soldiers would carry when they're getting ready to go into battlefield. And then when they thought the enemy was close, so that the enemy wouldn't see their light. This is the only pair I've ever seen. I've only seen one other ones besides these two. And if you see, this was the first one I got. You see the lady walking and she's got it around her neck. And you see the gentleman is sitting there with his around his neck and he's reading a newspaper. Talking about it year before last at the Apple Butter Festival, we figured out what they were. You open them up and then that's your lantern there. But what we figured out they were when you went to the outhouse years ago, you would take them to the outhouse. The ladies figured out that that lady was in her night clothes. And this one, as per normal, the gentleman is reading his newspaper.